Hey everyone, it's SK Nelly. I'm the host of Change Your Love Life Summit, where world's best love experts will show you how to completely transform your love life. And I'm very excited to announce my guest today. His name is Jack Butler. Jack, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, awesome. Jack, uh, Jack comes from U UK, but lives in US and has a U UK accent, yes. <laughs> which is very charming. Uh, Jack, well, uh, before we dive into our topic today, I would like to say a few words about you and about your career. Please. And then we'll start to talk about something that ladies will love to hear. So, first about Jack. Jack coaches and teaches globally to help people be more of who they really are. He supports deeper levels of freedom, authentic authenticity and uh, presence beyond the patterns and strategies we take to be our real selves. Jack has clients from around the world. He has taught on four continents and his programs have been purchased in over 20 countries. Jack has also directed over 100 personal growth intensives with the Social Enterprise Future Foundations that he founded. He was the youngest member of the UK Professional Speakers Association and is a former runner-up in the UK Young Entrepreneur of the Year being honored in the UK's, uh, UK House of Lords. Well, that's impressive, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for, for a young guy like you, a very, very good uh, biography. And you, you seem to have a lot of experience, not only as a love expert, but as a, love, a life coach as well. Yep. So you, that's true. You, you have been working for years on the people's. Uh, personal development and I would love to hear this from you how did you, you how did your journey actually start and how did you become a love expert which you are now yeah so I've always loved people I've always been fascinated by people and I studied politics and psychology mm -hmm. at the University of Cambridge and when I was coming to graduate, I was looking at the range of careers that they often present to someone, you know, I was second in my class, I did really well at Cambridge. And people thought, you know, I should probably be a banker or a lawyer or an accountant. And none of that really interested me. My interest was in psychology and people. And I remember being then I was I graduated young, I was 20. And I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to be a coach. And pretty much everyone I spoke to in the UK at the time thought that was a little bit hilarious. They're like, you know, <laughs> you what do you know, and I totally get it. I was really young. I hadn't really had any professional experience, but that that was the impulse. So I worked for a couple of organizations. I worked for Dale Carnegie Training. Um, people probably know the How to Win Friends and Influence People book. Um, and yeah, I worked of course, for, of course, yeah, everyone right. know about him. <laughs> totally, very successful book. And I mm -hmm. worked for Tony Robbins, uh, who a lot of people know as well. I worked for the London wow. team that promoted his seminars. And I always had the inclination that I kind of wanted to do my own thing. So that was my inspiration, but I was in my early 20s. And so I decided to set up this organization, Future Foundations, that runs programs for teenagers. Because I was like, mm -hmm. well, look, I might not be able to coach you know, executives, but I can coach teenagers. I know how to succeed at school. I know how to get into top university. And I also know that a lot of what is important about life <clears throat> is not, excuse me, <clears throat> a lot of what's important about life is not what we actually learn at university and school. That was my experience. So I wanted to teach young people a bit about, you know, how to be yourself or how to deal with problems or how to have a vision for your life. So, uh, yeah, I set that up in my early 20s, ran it through most of my 20s. Uh, it still runs. It's based out of London, works throughout the UK and in some countries abroad, running personal growth programs for teenagers. And, and then I got to a certain point where my life kind of dissolved. I had a big shift in my late 20s and... Uh, left the relationship I was in, left the career or the, the business that I'd founded, left the country and really went on some deep soul searching. And a lot of that was about being even more of myself, like really coming into myself beyond ideas of being a change agent and an entrepreneur and trying to change the world. 
I basically had the experience of my identity kind of dissolving, like life saying, oh, you think that's who you are. We're going to take that away from you. We're going to take that away from you. And it was raw and it was naked and it was kind of painful, but it was really powerful in terms of my own transformation into being something deeper and truer to myself. And so uh, having employed and worked with coaches for the best part of a decade, I decided to step into it fully. So I've been coaching full time now for just over six years and helping people with this same thing mm -hmm. to be to be more of themselves and notice the places where they aren't notice the roles that they get stuck in you know whether it's you know mother father husband wife boyfriend girlfriend or teacher or policeman or coach or whatever it is to actually hold that more lightly so that you have a deeper freedom to express who you are and to have your real and true voice in the world and it's not easy and i'm not always great at it but that's that's been my journey and I love, I love helping people with it. And in the last two to three years, that's become very focused on how to do that and be in relationship. Because I started to realize that relationship is, I think, one of the deepest places of practicing our inner work to really become who we are. Because relationship can be bumpy. It has us confront ourselves. We get stuck in the patterns from our childhood. So I love this interface of, I call it essence and relationship. Essence, how to be yourself and how to be loved for who you are in relationship. And that's been a lot of my own journey. I had a lot of adult relationships that didn't really work out. And I thought, hey, I'm a good guy. I know how to relate to people. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that being nice and friendly and knowing how to connect with people is very different than having a deep, real, authentic relationship. So I got my ass kicked a lot, and I still do sometimes. Um, but I love that I get to practice this work in real life, in day-to-day, -day, in, in my partnership. So.